Hello, my name is Mikkel Elam. I was scheduled to be in an exhibition with two other artists at City Art Salon in Fishtown. The exhibition was canceled because of the coronavirus. The gallery and studio director Kenny White created this space 10 years ago. This was to be his 10th anniversary show. I participated in the first one too. In 2017, I made a movie about a show of portraits of Philadelphia gunshot victims. Mikhail was one of the artists who gave their time and talent to offer some measure of consolation to the relatives. My name is Mikhail Ilam. I was a victim of violence a few years ago. Lisa Espinoza reached out to me. My portrait is her son, the 26-year-old son, Raymond Pantoja. Raymond was shot and killed while jumping in front of another friend to protect him. I call it heaven because his family believes that that's where he exists now. Raymond's soul is somewhere in another dimension. Mikkel's empathy and generosity embody the best of the artistic spirit. This week, I asked him to send me an audio file about his life and work. My first memories of being interested in the process of drawing was sitting on my dad's lap and watching him draw from the age of four. Very soon, I began to join in trying to copy his every line. My father died prematurely when I was eight years old. By that time, the seed had been planted. My drawings and paintings were more evolved than my peers. I was a standout kid in my classrooms. My family was financially poor, so art school did not seem like a viable career choice when it came time to attend college. I went to two schools, University of the Arts in Philadelphia and School of the Visual Arts in New York. I fought for it, paid my own way. I have had some adventures. I once went to Dubai to work on the Atlantis Dubai Hotel, painting murals in their fantasy lost caves. I worked for jazz great Miles Davis. He actually was the one who got me to focus on art as a necessary part of my existence. Mothers are sometimes right. It has not been the most lucrative career choice, yet it has been the most satisfying. My work has grown a lot in the last 10 years. My work is about elevating spirit as seen through the eyes of a person of African descent. I am considered a figurative artist who uses a great deal of abstraction. Mixed medium and nature, the pieces range from using various paints, collage elements, markers, drawing devices, and other found objects mounted on wood and canvas substrates. My paintings are heavily layered like my thoughts. My studio is a mess. Hey, it takes a lot of energy to finish my work. I sometimes work on as many as three at a time. Some take as much as a year to finish. Coronavirus has affected me in two ways. First, all of my shows have been canceled. Even one exhibition at the Woodmere Art Museum, which was to happen in June, has been pushed back one year. Secondly, I also manage an artist supply store called Artists and Craftsmen in Chestnut Hill. They are also closed indefinitely. My income has taken a nosedive. The good news is I have more time to paint. I am optimistic about the future mostly because I choose to embrace positivity. It's the only way that we can move forward. Mikkel, thank you so much for your inspiring words and art.